Lena's Journeys is a daughter's moving tribute to the mother who held her world and that of six siblings together through long years of insecurity and hardship. It's a compelling family memoir. Philomena's Journeys is also a revealing examination of Goan society and culture. And like all enduring stories, this testament to resilience and hope makes the particular universal. Both our guests today have had a very long association together ever since they were together in uh, the Karnatak Arts College in Dharwar. They've performed plays together, they've uh, uh, participated and, and won at many national literary festivals together. She was a senior just by two years, but please put your hands together for Miss Maria Aurora Kuto. Ave Maria. She was uh, born in Goa, studied in Dharwar, and now stays in Aldona, Goa. A She's village. A, a, village. A, a small village, she says, in, uh, in Goa. Uh, she's been a writer, historian, and an educationalist, and taught English literature in colleges across India. She's contributed to periodicals in India and the United Kingdom. She's the author of the widely acclaimed Goa, A Daughter's Story, and Graham Greene on the Frontier. In 2010, she was recognized with the Padma Shri for her contributions in literature and education. Maria Aurora Kuto. I know she's a little bit nervous, so we're all here to build your spirits up. So no problem at all. Okay, unveiling the book today is a literary giant of India. He needs no introduction. He's one of India's best known playwrights, filmmaker and actor, winner of the Sangeet Natak Academy Award, the Bharatiya Gyan Peet, and the Padma Bhushan. It gives me immense pleasure and honor to call on stage one of Ms. Kuto's college friends, Mr. Girish Karna. Uh, just a small reminder to everyone in the audience, please do switch off your mobile phones or at least put them on silent. It's a small piece of respect that we can pay to our fellow members and to our panelists here. Thank you so much. Over to you, Mr. Karna. Well, good morning. I'm Girish Karnad. I'm a playwright, and um, most important of all, I'm a friend of Aurora's. Um, we have known each other, as was mentioned, what, for the last 60 years, I think. I, I met her when I was 16 and she was 17, and she was in the same class as my sister, Prema, uh, Prema and who used to talk about her, and you know, in those days, one was interested in all attractive girls, and so naturally, <laughs> attractive. Uh, you know, one was interested in her. And then she went to Karnata College, I followed her, and in Karnata College, um, uh, Aurora had a very brilliant career on the art side, in literature, and, uh, and I'm glad to say that I had a similar career. <laughs> so one could sort of sustain the interest, you know. And we were together in a lot of groups. We used to do plays together, we used to do debates together, we went to Delhi together, and so on. The nice thing has been that Usually this kind of uh, relationship ends with colleges, but it hasn't, and you know, it has continued uh, right through after she got married to Alban Kuto, and here we are together again. But uh, an equally important reason why I'm here to release the book is that I knew the subject of the book, her mother, uh, Philomena. Um, I didn't talk to her very much because she didn't know too much English, and her company and my company were very different. The communication was rather... And I think uh, Philomena was quite used to young men hanging around the house, so <laughs> she didn't pay much attention to uh, you know, whoever was coming there. But I s still have a very distinct image, which comes through the book, of a very straight person, a very straight, very attractive person, walking down with great elegance down the streets of Dharwar, uh, where her family had moved and settled down. And um, it's, it's a tribute to her, it's a tribute to, um, it's a beautiful tribute to her. Um, and um, I must say, I'm very honored to be here. And um, thank you, Aurora, for asking me to release the book. So let me start off by releasing the book first, so that you know what I'm talking about. 